Welcome to the Cardiovascular Research MSc at King's College London. I'm Paul Fraser and I organise this programme and I teach on it too. The MSc is hosted by the School of Cardiovascular Medicine and Sciences, which also hosts the British Heart Foundation Centre for Research Excellence. The school is very strong, has 47 academic members of staff and was rated first in the UK for cardiovascular medicine research. The Cardiovascular Research MSc has a number of strengths. It's a full-time programme which lasts 12 months and this includes a six months full-time research project. We take 25 students onto the programme. The programme provides a theoretical and practical basis for investigating the functioning of cardiac and vascular systems and there are several alumni who are now active researchers. You will need an upper second in a biomedical science or related subject to join the MSc programme and when you apply don't forget your personal statement. The MSc consists of teaching and a research project. Formally the teaching is placed in modules giving a total of 90 course credits and the research project gives another 90 course credits. Taught modules will be delivered mainly from the Franklin Wilkins building on Waterloo campus. The workshops in the cardiovascular skills module will come from Franklin Wilkins building, from New Hans Health and Guys, from St Thomas's campus and from KCH campus down at Denmark Hill. On the MSc you will be taught by top rated scientists who are leaders in their fields. They not only teach in the classes but also supervise the research projects and we always have a large variety of research projects for students to choose from. The aim of the MSc is to help you to assess the evidence upon which our ideas are based. In other words, how well we know what we know about the cardiovascular system. The fundamental cardiovascular research module and the applied cardiovascular research module each consist of nine topic areas. Each topic area has a lecture, a reading list of original research papers and a seminar in which these papers are presented and discussed. Two of these presentations will be assessed and there's also an exam in May. The cardiovascular skills module consists mainly of workshops, two of which are written up for assessment. The exam in May consists of a scientific interpretation test. The research project is assessed from the written dissertation and also from your performance in the laboratory and how well you do an oral presentation. You also write a lay abstract and that is assessed. You may wonder what you will get out of the MSc apart from enjoying a research project and learning quite a lot about cardiovascular science. Well, there'll be a number of skills you'd pick up which will be useful in any profession that you may wish to proceed to. So, data mining, lab work, how to design experiments, but that's also transferable to designing any procedures, data collection and handling, and statistics, all these are for sciences really, but presentation of data, how to write effectively, how to do oral presentations, how to work with others, and most importantly, how to manage your time. Senior medical students, as well as junior hospital doctors and BSc graduates, join the programme. When they graduate, about a third go to a PhD studentship, a bit less than 20% go to undergraduate medical school, the senior medical students go on to clinical medical school, school and the junior hospital doctors go on to postgraduate medicine. Others go off to a variety of different jobs and careers 
in industry and administration. The MSc in Cardiovascular Research at King's provided a good balance of theoretical and practical based approaches for conducting research within the cardiovascular field. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in Biological Sciences, which was quite broad. And so the MSc allowed me to gain a deeper understanding of the cardiovascular system through intellectually engaging and stimulating lectures and seminars, which were led by world-class academics in the field. Research workshops showcasing state-of-the-art equipment and techniques were also part of the MSc programme, and I felt these were particularly useful prior to starting my research project. In addition to the teaching component of the course, I was able to undertake an experimental project in a world-leading research laboratory. If I had to point out the single most important aspect of the MSc for me, it would have to be that it equipped me with the knowledge and skills to undertake a PhD project. This subsequently led to my current position, which is a postdoctoral research scientist within the cardiovascular field. I would recommend the MSc to all those who are interested in pursuing an academic research career or to study medicine. Alternatively, the MSc would also suit those who want to branch out into other science-related careers. It was a great decision to study this Masters, and I enjoyed every challenge it presented. From the very beginning of the course, I was fully engaged with the opportunities provided. In the first semester, we learnt a huge amount through a combination of lectures on recent cardiovascular research, laboratory classes learning practical techniques, and preparation and presentation of seminars with top academics and clinical specialists. I was trained in a range of scientific and statistical techniques, through which I developed a range of highly transferable skills. The course lectures and classes increased my knowledge and skill base, while the open discussions in seminars developed my ability to critically analyse research papers and actively reflect on what it meant to be a good scientist. All of this was essential preparation for my six months research project as part of the Arrhythmia Laboratory at St Thomas's Hospital. The research utilised an in vivo model to investigate the cause of heart arrhythmia in cases of sudden cardiac death. I later presented my findings at the annual conference of the British Pharmacological Society. This course opened a lot of opportunities, initially in a research laboratory at Waterloo where I secured an offer for a BHF funded PhD, um, but instead I took the option to take a postgraduate degree in medicine. In summary, I would highly recommend this course to someone wanting to develop a research career and also to anyone who wants to further their understanding of clinical science before studying medicine. We hope that we've given you a fair idea of what this MSc programme is all about. But if you have any questions, just drop an email to me. That is Paul Fraser at KCL. AC UK.